Good morning, party people. Good morning. The rise and fall of Steve Cook. Right? Just come up with a better flow, better format. We got, we're gonna do actually a full house tour here. You're gonna have a new house. You're gonna have a new house. And you're gonna have a new house. Good morning, party people. Good morning, party people. How are you guys? Today's a big day. I got a bunch of meetings. We're hiring some new front desk people. Like I've said in my other videos, if you're watching this little vlog series, just kind of showing you guys the ins and outs of life. And a big part of that is going to be fitness culture gym. Heading there. I'm actually there right now in the parking lot. Kind of take you through what the gym looks like right now. And uh, what are the goals for 2024 with the gym? <laughs> you guys out of here? Good seeing you. Good morning. All right, so this is this is fitness culture. It's a 12,000 square foot facility. We got two bathrooms right here, boom, boom. This is gonna become a posing room because we got a lot of requests for it. This used to be where Eli, our barber was, but now Eli has turned what used to be kind of a useless front desk area into his barber shop. Pretty cool. How are you? Doing a little YouTube video of the spot. No Eli this morning? He's been taking Fridays off. Oh, must be nice, Eli. So yeah, pretty cool barbershop there. We'll head upstairs to where the offices are. This is where there is going to need to be a lot of TLC that goes into this upstairs. Because right now, this is what the kitchen looks like. <laughs> Things are, get some equipment, get some dumbbells. Probably need to throw those up for sale. <sighs> Lots to do. Gives me a little bit of anxiety, but at least we're attacking it. Office one, kind of a cool fact, kind of a cool view that you can see people working out down there. And then we got open space, boom, boom, two offices. Yo, just daily vlogging here, no big deal. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Kelby hasn't been introduced to YouTube yet. Not yet. This is Kelby. Hi, Elves. She's, she's been organizing some podcast episodes. Woo -hoo. Oh. <laughs> she's been killing it. She is my right hand woman. Nice. Nice, very nice. All right, let's get this day started. I got a meeting right now. I gotta sit down you and talk that about cold brew. Salt, salted cook. Yeah, that thing. I got my. I did get this so I could do a YouTube video. My salted cold foam cold brew. It's honestly the only thing that I think is actually doable for me. She's not a coffee girl. All right. Oh, I'm gonna show Morgan this video that I saw today. So it was the rise and fall of Steve Cook. I was actually dying. It was pretty. Oh. It was pretty good. Wait, it was funny. No, it wasn't. Oh, I thought God. it was. I thought it was funny. All right, currently looking at where everything's placed in the gym, trying to just come up with a better flow, better format. We got the booty machine, the Arsenal booty machine, you know, the glute. Really should probably be in the front. I feel like it drives me nuts. This light is out. I need to get all the lights fixed. Just little things like not having everything the same upholstery color. It just feels kind of mismatched. So we'll be working on getting a new layout for everything. I want this corner to be kind of like the legs, glute, all lower body stuff. Um, we have all of our plate loaded upper body stuff over here. And then we have basically all of our free weights over there. So a couple other things we probably just need to get rid of like this free motion. Don't know if anyone's actually ever used this once in the gym. We bought it off. We bought a, like a bunch of this equipment just from two different gyms that were going out of business. So we, we didn't buy each piece individually, but this this row, this free motion row machine is, it's gotta go. See you, chump. All right, definitely we'll be selling this. If anyone wants a butt blaster kickback, we're gonna be selling that. I think the plan is to sell the free motion. Even though I like the profile on it, sell that one everyone did this one wrong in the gym just for how it loads kind of it gets your lower back in a bad way um so i think we'll be selling both of those and buying a new a new um hack squat and then we're gonna be buying a new smith machine or trying to fix this one because there's no cable on this which actually just means this is just heavy ass bar with this extra mount on it. It's super heavy. So you actually, you know, shoulder press on that. You're not getting a traditional 135, 45 on each side. It feels about like 185. Um, lastly, going back and forth on, on this one, if we want to be selling it, just because really the only thing I like on it is shrug. 
and then bent over rows. The RDL kind of puts you in a weird position because at the top where it should be, you know, it, it makes just things super light the further you get in your RDL there. So it's a lot of room to just use it for rows and shrug. So we'll probably be getting rid of that one. Making this whole area into more of a leg focused area, moving the booty, the, the hip up machine from Arsenal over there, the hip thrust. Yeah, got some things we gotta do. Might need to paint these two. I feel like you always need a freestanding incline bench and flat bench, even though we have all of this rack equipment here and probably be getting rid of two treadmills. I feel like we don't have enough people to really make sense of having seven treadmills, eight, including the salt. We'll keep that one, probably get rid of this one and this one, even though just decisions to make. I want to move the front desk over here to have a place for more merch, move the cubby, cubbies. No one likes using these cubbies anyways, but if I move them closer to the front door we'll, and closer to the front desk, we'll get people utilizing it. And then maybe getting a spot, a new spot where people can sign because we've done, we don't run out of room. Oh goodness, look what's happening up here. Morgan, we talked about her releasing her culture of motion. It's, when is it, when is the app dropping? Monday. Monday. You did, you, you flew your mom all the way over. <laughs> You'd have been cheaper going to Mexico. Actually, no, you wouldn't. Thanks, She's yeah. free. <laughs> that is for free. Oh, that's mom of the year right there. And we're also putting a new fingerprint scanner on this. That's dope. All right, finished up at the gym, 4.30. Long day there. One of our main front desk guys, he's moving away. So in an interviewing process for some front desk people, talking to some people. About potentially getting them to also be trainers at the gym a lot of people interested in being trainers um, biggest biggest thing is that I like having independent trainers at the gym because I like people who want to run their own businesses I find that if I was a trainer when I was a trainer if I'm going out there finding clients I don't want to split that cost with the gym so it's like hey I'll pay my my fee to the gym monthly we're $500 a month and you can train as many people as you want they, your clients have to have memberships as well, but I feel like um, definitely a better way of going about it rather than being like, okay, you're a trainer. As the gym, we'll sell packages and we'll, we'll you know, I'll take 60%, you have 40%. I just have never thought that that's a good way to attract good personal trainers. So anyhow, on the way right now to go check out the house that we will be buying. Like as of tomorrow, I guess we, basically own it so I'm gonna walk through it one more time uh, I have a friend of mine who's a builder coming over there's some things I want to do this is a temporary house this is probably two years while we kind of get our lives settled in the US we have enough stressful things going on that instead of building an entire house which is an insanely stressful process why not buy something live in it turn it into either a rental or sell it while we then build so we're not throwing away tons of money in rent. This is no, oh, you're in this. Oh, you're in nice. this. <laughs> you're, you're ducking like you're out of the way. This is my buddy Ryan, also my realtor. What's up? This is, this is the spot. So we're gonna do actually a full house tour here. I just wanted to show you the reason Morgan is so obsessed with buying it is because of this view and this kitchen. So we have really nice big kitchen with a really cool view, dirty windows. I'm gonna, find, have, I'm gonna have, to have some window washers come through, but super cool view of a golf course. Grass is a little bit dead on everything but the fairways. And then also this like a wash, super cool back backyard deck. So like I said, I'm gonna be happy if I can get a cold plunge and sauna somewhere out there and I can just look out onto the golf course every morning while I hit my cold plunge and sauna. 11.30 at night, been working on just stuff on and off. Had to come back to the gym to grab my laptop so I can actually upload the YouTube footage. I actually love coming to this gym though when it's completely dead. Also love this. Oh, come on. All right, we out here golfing. It's a golf Saturday. Yesterday was like a nine to nine work day. So today's golf Saturday girls are going to the market so we're out here in Trotta aka high school 2 high school musical 2 was filmed I guess I don't know it's pretty it's a pretty bougie spot when your bougie friends get you on you 
come and play. So, <laughs> um, did not get my new driver yet. So, a little cold out here for St. George. We're gonna see if we can't string around together. All right, all right. It is official. Packing up the house. We're starting to move. Closing on this place tomorrow. It's been a crazy couple days. The house is obviously a disaster. The gym, I don't want to say is a disaster. It's not. But hired a new person, hired a new gym manager. So I would say everything's kind of starting here. Only can go up from here. Had a super long couple days at the gym this week. I'm feeling absolutely run down. But today I'm going through all of my stuff so we can start moving. The girls are out here doing the kitchen. So this is just a rental house right now. Yeah, we're gonna be moving. You're gonna have a new house. You're gonna, and you're gonna have a new house. And you're gonna have a new house. And you're, oh, nice outfit, babe. We're doing it. These twin, twin dwarf Santas, they're, you're coming to I don't know where this weekend went, but Monday through Friday vlogs. This is Sunday night, so I'm gonna upload a vlog tomorrow morning. Spent the entire weekend either getting things ready at the gym or getting things ready at home. And I did play one round of golf, which was great. It was kind of the, the just the chill time, but body's feeling weirdly beat up. Still not sleeping great. Hopefully when we move to this house, we start getting some semblance of normal but for right now it's just balance is one of those things that you always strive to have it but there's really no such thing you put a lot of the time and you know maybe at certain points of your life balance might mean 40 hours of school 20 hours of work and not a lot of family and then at other times it's more family or more business or more travel or just whatever so it's like different seasons of life i think mean different sorts of balance balance is one of those things we're always kind of going after but never fully feeling great about in a lot of ways so learning to be happy with the rat race that is life so house hopefully in two days time <clears throat> we're sleeping <clears throat> at the new place gotta wake up tomorrow morning and uh then we can start moving stuff over there i also got two new people working their first shifts tomorrow at the gym so yeah we're gonna try to stay with you guys gonna work out early push day so that's good news but anyhow thanks for thanks for sticking with me here appreciate you guys